stop judging, and judgment will no longer be reflected back to you. September 7, 2016 You all know at the depth of your being, deep within you where the flame of love burns brightly and constantly, that there is only the one. But, having chosen to experience separation from that inseparable state, you closed your awareness of it many eons ago and are only now allowing awareness of it to arise within you once more. Many are now telling their stories of this personal awakening and of the peace and joy it has provided for them and are encouraging others to seek within themselves what all can and will find there, the absolute and unassailable knowing that there is only the one, you and God. It is there for you all because it is your nature and your inalienable heritage. Now is the time to release your grasp on any sense of guilt, sinfulness, or unworthiness that continues to persuade you that God finds you in any way wanting, unacceptable, or unworthy of His love, and that succeeds in convincing you that to attempt to make contact with Him is pointless. He created you, so how could He possibly not love you? His will is for your eternal happiness, and that can only occur in His presence. You have never left His presence. You have just hidden from it by drawing an imaginary cloak or veil of opaqueness around yourself, and now is the time for you to disperse it and return into the brilliant light of his infinite love for you. That is what you have been seeking for eons as you have journeyed through the illusion, a magical or unreal environment in which the only thing for which you are truly seeking cannot be found. God is within you, there is nowhere else but you have shrunk the real and magnificent you into a tiny and almost utterly insignificant you as you struggle with all your false, invalid, and constantly ongoing self-assessments or self-judgments that would destroy your willingness or ability to realize your oneness with your father under a self-imposed fog or cloud of unlovableness. However, there is no such state as being unlovable. Love is all that exists. Here in the spiritual realms we keep reminding you of this, and still you doubt yourselves, your worthiness, and your value, surely that is insane. Please, allow yourselves to love yourselves unconditionally as God does. Open your hearts to the love that He offers you in every moment of your eternal existence, and revel in the joy of His loving embrace. There is absolutely no reason to stand back, to be shy, to turn away as though you had something shameful to hide. You are, and always will be, perfect, just as he created you. Love is. All you have to do is to allow love. You are love. You are just either not recognizing that or are refusing to recognize that, because you believe your own negative self-judgments that are reflected back to you by those with whom you interact, are true and valid. They are not. The judgments of others are as invalid as your own. Stop judging, and judgment will no longer be reflected back to you, that is you will find that you experience others judging you far less frequently. Often what you experience as a negative judgment from someone else is your incorrect interpretation of their words or behavior in your presence in that moment, or as you recall them afterwards, mainly because that is what you expect. When you truly let go of all those negative self-judgments, and really start accepting and loving yourself unconditionally, your personal energy field, your love field expands and embraces all with whom you interact. How could it not? It is infinite, as created by your Father and bestowed upon you at the moment of your creation, and its purpose is connection, loving and harmonious relationship between Father and Son, God and creation, and, of course, between his seemingly separated children who are in every moment, one with him, and with each other. There is only love which is God, which is each one of you. There is no separation. There never has been any separation from Source because there is nowhere to which you could separate, there is only one. If you exist, and if you feel in any way alive, from extreme ecstasy to utter depression, you do exist, and you are one, there are no other options. It's quite simple, if you are conscious, alive, sensing, feeling, tasting, touching, seeing, hearing, smelling, then you exist, and in existing you are one with God. There is no alternative to God, to oneness which is existence, and existence is eternal. The message here is, and it is infinitely loving, there is only one. You are one. God is one. 
Your worst enemies are one. Your most beloved friends, partners, children, all of creation, are one. No one is excluded for any reason because there is no reason to exclude from oneness what God in His infinite wisdom created perfect to enjoy eternal happiness in that divine state with Him. Your loving brother, Jesus. Channeled by John Smallman. John Smallman 2.wordpress.com